Hello everyone, I hope that all of you are fine. Today we will be discussing an important novel. It is a realistic novel by Gustav Flaubert. Actually the name is Madame Bovary. So Madame Bovary was written in 1856. It was first published in 1856. We should know that. And it's more like a realistic novel. The real life of uh, two individuals. Especially Charles Bovary and Emma Bovary. And Emma Bovary is actually focused by the writer. So realistically, usually a novel will have a beginning, middle and end. And the climax will be uh, ending in a happy state. In a happy state, we should say. But in a realistic novel, we can see in real life, people's life will not end happily. There will be problems also. There will be happiness also. It's a mixed up thing. So realistic novel, in that we can see how the real life of a person is. So here in Emma Bovary, we can see the tragic uh, end of Emma Bovary. So she tried to go beyond the family setup and tried to have passionate affair with other people. And her husband was not that much passionate as Emma. She had to borrow money from people to, to find money for these affairs. And finally, with great debt from the money lender, she had to commit suicide finally. That kind of way. Now lens. So we can see that realism is actually an important movement in the 19th century France during that time. And also in Britain also it was about to come. In the modern period we can see that. So this is a French novel and realism was actually a rise in the 19th century in France we can say. And we can see the development of science was there during that time. And also uh, industrialization was well developed during that time. And people also uh, slowly slowly moved away from religion and science was given great focus during that time. That kind of situation uh, realism is. So during this time period, we can see that writers also try to write things on contemporary life. That means the real life things they try to attempt to write during that time period, we should say. And as I have told you, the novel was actually first published in 1856. And 1857, the novel had to undergo a big trial also. Because actually the criticism was that there were many things depicted in the novel which was not apt for a society because many notorious kind of blunt elements were directly represented through the novel so that is not apt for the audience because of that reason some trial was actually undergone during that time and uh, because of this reason the popularity of the novel also increased during that time we can see so that is about the novel you should know that there are realistic elements in the novel and the life of Charles Bowery and Emma Bowery we can see in the novel and now we will go to the plot line of the novel so when we see the story of the novel Madame Bovary we can see that at the beginning of the novel there is a person called Charles Bovary he is actually a person who is dull and unconfident and not at all passionate he is from a middle class family and he is not that much good at studies and because of this reason he becomes a second class doctor in a countryside we can see and he will get married to a widower because of the pressure from his mother after the death of that wife she will die after some time he will fall in love with Emma Bowery and after that uh, they will marry but after the marriage we can see that Emma is too much passionate about the affair and Charles uh, is not that much passionate regarding this love affair etc because of that reason they will not make up a good match so that way the novel goes in the beginning and also we can see that Emma is not that much happy during the beginning because she will understand that Charles is not that much passionate enough. Because of this reason, Emma will appear dull and because of her dullness, uh, Charles will actually decide to uh, move to other place, in a city place. Because uh, she is also pregnant also and to get a good atmosphere or good feel, uh, Charles and Emma will move to city. We can see that. So, after coming to the city, we can see that it is not like the village. There are more kind of people. There are more kind of... It's a different lifestyle. So in that case, Emma will actually fall in love with a person, a clerk called Leon. So it will be, it will not last long. After some time, uh, she will try to avoid him because, uh, her, because of thinking about her family responsibilities. And after that, Leon will go for some higher studies, etc. And after that, we can see a rich neighbor called Rodolphe. Uh, he will also have some affair with Emma and they both will have some affair for some time. And after that, this Leon will come back. After that also, Oh, Emma will have some affairs. Actually, uh, Charles and Emma decided to come to city when Emma was pregnant. So now she have the child. Still, she is not so happy. She will look for more and more kind of passionate things and more affairs she will try to uh, have. And because of this reason, she have to face many things. She had to borrow money from money lenders. And finally, she will be in great debt. And Charles Bovary is not that much passionate and he is more like a foolish character. We can see. He will not understand the uh, problems of Emma and also and he also believes everything that Emma says 
by that way regarding this debt and problems and other affairs stars probably doesn't come to know and after that you know because of the uh, heavy debts so fearing those things how she will repay that emma will commit suicide and charles bowery at first think that the love that emma had for him was very true and later he will come to know that it is not true in that case uh, charles bowery will also die and only the daughter of them will remain so that way in a tragic kind of situation the novel will end so we can see that but from having a good ending novel will have a negative ending we can say because it is a realistic novel the real life of a person or an individual is actually depicted truthfully so the definition of realism is like that attempt to depict reality truthfully so that kind of attempt is done by gustav flaubert in depicting the life of m and charles in the novel madam bovary so here also regarding the themes when we see we can see the binary opposites charles is actually charles bovary is actually an impassionate dull person whereas emma is actually a different person like very passionate in affair etc and we can see that uh, they both doesn't match together and more like we can see in a positive aspect when we check charles is more like a person who is in reality and emma is more like a fantasy kind of person so uh, when we come to real life those things will not be applicable that kind of message that uh, gustav flaubert is trying to give through this novel madame bovary so that is regarding the uh, important theme of the novel and also we can see the writing style of the novelist is such that the reader will get a uh, real life experience regarding the characters like the real life kind of depiction so regarding if in a society if we try to be more passionate it will end up in great danger or tragedy that kind of message gustav flaubert is trying to give through this novel we can say so that is regarding the major idea of the novel madame bovary so i hope that you understood the aspects of the novel i have just give a brief introduction regarding the novel and also some kind of aspects the themes and the realistic element we should know when you come to write the examination and also you should note that the novel was written in 1856 and after that in 1857 it have to undergo a trial also because of this depiction of blunt or obscene elements in the novel and because of this the novel also gained more popularity during that time period we should say so that's all for today's video lecture i hope that you liked the video lecture and also you can also suggest the topics in the comment section so that i will make good videos which will make you understand the aspects of the literary verse in a very brief manner in the shortest possible time okay thank you